And welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing the brand new set Happy Halloween and its coordinating dies. There are these awesome dogs that you can dress up for Halloween. So let's go ahead and stamp it out. So we have three different styles of dogs facing right, facing left, and facing forward. And then we have all of these great little costumes for them. So first we have this pumpkin costume. Then we have a fairy or either a princess or a king crown there and a little tutu and some fairy wings and a fairy wand. We also have a superhero costume which is one of my favorites. Then we have a witch costume but the little dress from the witch costume could be cute with the fairy wings and wand and the crown too. We have a mummy costume and of course a hot dog costume for these cute little dash hounds. A little bowl there, dog bowl with the bone, a trick-or-treat bucket, and then some things for setting the scene. So we have the moon and stars, and also some little dog bones, which would be really cute for a background too. We also have a cute little paw, which I also think would be cute for backgrounds. We have some great sentiments, and one of my favorite is that boog, so it can look like a little howling dog. We have happy howl Halloween. No tricks, just treats. You're cute to the bone, which could be used year-round. Wishing you a treat-filled day, and of course, a separate exclamation point. I'm using my Copic markers to color in these little dogs, and I'm blending out my medium color there with my light, and now I'm gonna add some darkness around the ears just to give him a nice little three-dimensional look. Now I'll blend the shading under his chin and around his legs there, and once again, add a little bit of darkness there right around those curved edges just to give that little pop there. I'm gonna to continue to use the same ideas with my other dogs, and that is letting the curves of the stamp dictate where I'm gonna put my shading. So you'll see there now I'm blending out my medium with my light and just keeping shading all around those curved edges and then repeating the same here with my blackish gray dog here who I've colored to look like my dog Daphne. So once again, I'm just continuing to blend out and now we'll add some color to this pumpkin. So I'm adding some darker orange around the outside edges and keeping it light around the face so you can still really see that face well. Color in the fairy wings and of course this cute little tutu and wand to match each other. Next I'll work on the superhero costume which is really fun to change up the colors of this costume. And then I love using purples for the witch costume. I just think it looks so great. And I love adding shading just on the left side there of the hat and then on the top of the dress, kind of light towards the bottom, giving a nice little ombre look. Now for the mummy, I like to use really light warm grays. It gives it a little something, but it still maintains its kind of white appearance. And so by blending those out with the colorless blender, you really get a cool look for that mummy costume. Now I'll be coloring in the hot dog costume, and to get the hot dog color, I'm going to go with brown and then red over top, and it's going to give kind of that hot dog look. Next, I'm going to color in the bowl there to match that superhero costume. And then I'm going to color in all those bones the same way that I colored the mummy costume in. Then I'm going to color in the little trick-or-treat bucket, once again keeping it light around the face in the middle, and then add some fun yellows to that moon and star. Now that I have everything colored, it's time to take those dies, bend them apart at the tabs, or use your wire snips to cut them apart. Then you can go ahead and line it up with your stamped image and hold it in place with some low tack tape like the post-it note tape I'm using here. Then I'm gonna take all of these images and run them through my die cut machine. And then my favorite part, the reveal, I'm gonna remove that die and have this perfectly cut image. And here is a look at all of the stamps in this set. And it is so fun to dress up these little dogs with all of the costumes. So I wanted to show you all of the different costumes on all of the different styles of dogs. So I just love the superhero so much and the witch. I love that the superhero could be year used all year round for You're My Hero kind of cards. The witch is so cute and the mummy. And of course that fairy is just adorable. And it's so fun to mix and match these costumes and come up with cool, fun scenes with them. Now it's time to start creating a card with them, and this card is totally inspired by a card by Audrey. And so first I'm gonna do ink blending by starting off of the card and then going onto the card and building up that color slowly. And I'm using Sealess Preserves, Dusty Concord, and Chip Sapphire. So now I've got the Dusty Concord, 
and then the chip sapphire. And so I'm going from kind of a brighter purple to a darker purple to the dark kind of bluish purple at the top. And I'm just blending each color. So I'll do the dark one, then the medium, then the light, then the medium, then the dark, and continuing to blend those in and really build that color up. Now I've used the landscape leafy tree backdrop cut from some black cardstock. I'm going to turn one over and lay the other one on top to create this really cool spooky tree scene. Here I have one of the new dotted circle stackables and I'm going to make this into a moon by using squeezed lemonade, mustard seed, and scattered straw inks. And once again I'm starting off and then going on to the color starting really light and building up the color on that moon. So I'm going to keep it lightest in the middle and darkest on the outside as I want it to look kind of like a spooky Halloween moon and just a little bit of darkness around the edges and you can see how great that looks in the purple sky with then the tree backdrop on top. Next I'm going to cut one of the stitched tree borders here from some black licorice cardstock. I'll die cut that and then I'll be able to place it in my scene. And I just love those cool little spooky trees. And I'm gonna place it in the scene, put my frame on top, and decide exactly where I want those trees to go. Once I've decided how I want those trees to look within my card frame here, I am going to tape that piece down to the front of the card, flip it over, and then use a pencil to give me some cut guide marks here. So I'm gonna just do a pencil line, line that up in my trimmer, and that's gonna cut me trees at the right angle, perfect for my card. So you'll see there, now I'm gonna be able to layer those trees on, and then I can use my tree frame here to guide me as to where to adhere my moon. Next up, I need a few more things for my scene. So I stamped out some pumpkins and some accessories, and then I'm adding in these cool little white lines that Audrey did. I thought it was so fun. So I'm using a white gel pen, adding those lines in, just gives it a nice little highlight to these fun colored images. And then she had a little polka dotted bowl, which I thought was just too cute. Now I'll use the coordinating dies to cut those out, and I'm also gonna use a pumpkin from Happy Harvest in this, because I need a tiny little pumpkin too. I'm going to dress my dog up as a cute little witch here, and I'll add the cape, which I love for the witch too. And then I'm gonna do this cool thing that Audrey did, and that's color in all of these white borders that the die left with a black pen. So I'm gonna go all the way around this pumpkin, coloring in all of those black edges. And by doing this, I'm gonna be able to create a full pumpkin with the top and the bottom. And to do this, I'll put some adhesive on the back of my pumpkin and then line up the top and you'll see how cool that looks. And then the black border blends better into our black trees. So I'll do this one more time with the small little pumpkin too. And then I'll also stamp and die cut this little boo from Booyah. Next, to make this spooky scene even spookier, I am going to use one of the puffy cloud dies here to cut some vellum, and I'll cut a bunch of different clouds that I'll be able to layer in my scene. I'm going to adhere the frame that's gonna go kind of backwards on the card here, so the flipped over part straight onto the card, and then I'm gonna cut down some thin strips of foam tape to adhere the second layer with some foam, just to give it some nice dimension and really make it feel like that right tree is in the background of this whole scene. So once I layer that on there, I can start working on the rest of the scene of my card. I'm going to layer all of my die cut pieces so I can do one more thing, and that stamp a cute little spider, also from Booyah, which is a stamp set from last year. So I'll stamp the spider and also the little spider trail so it looks like it's coming off of the tree, kind of from behind those little vellum clouds. Now that I have all of my pieces set, I can actually finally start adhering them. So I'm going to use some foam tape for my dog here, so she's kind of the star of the show, and put the little bowl right behind her. Then I'll use some thin foam adhesive for this one pumpkin. Once again, I just want lots of steps of dimension. I'm just going to trim off the side of the other pumpkin so that I can tuck it behind the tree, and then add adhesive for both of these pumpkins on the left side. Now for these vellum clouds, they're really hard to adhere because you don't want your adhesive to show through. So I'm using a very thin line of glue and then lining it up with the edge of the moon. So the darkness of the moon kind of hides it. Here I'm putting that glue there behind the tree and there once again, I'm gonna add the glue right on the edge of the moon and it really does hide it. You can barely tell it's there. 
I'll add this little boo on with some foam adhesive. And this card is so spooky, I thought it needed a black card base. And I thought it'd be really fun to use like a silver metallic pen on the inside for my message. So I've got some black licorice cardstock here, standard size, five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna layer that on there, and now this card is all done. I just love the spooky scene, and I love that you could dress up the dog in all sorts of different ways in this same scene too. Now I'm going to be creating a card inspired by a card by Elise, and this meant that I had to cut and color eight of these little dogs, and actually it went pretty quickly. And then I'm going to dress them all up in these different costumes. That way each costume is the star of the show in this card. So I'm just slowly adhering all of these little pieces on the cards until all of my eight dogs are dressed up and ready for Halloween. I'm going to cut a standard size card four and a quarter by high five and a half. I'll score that down the middle. And then I can start to lay my dogs out on this card. And the reason I am doing this here is I want to kind of decide exactly where this sentiment is going to go. And it's going to go right in the center. So I am going to draw a pencil line at two and an eighth, and then two and three quarters. And that's going to be a guide for my sentiment. Now I want all of the different words in Happy Halloween separate. So I'm actually cutting apart my stamp. And that's okay because you can cut it apart and then you can line them back together to get the long sentiment too. Now once again, I'm laying the dogs on this card to give me an idea as to where this stamp's gonna go. So right now, I know that the stamp is centered left to right, but I wanna make sure it's centered top to bottom. So I'm putting all of the dogs on the card, and then I'm actually gonna shift the card within my mini Misty tool here until it's right perfectly in the center of all of the dogs. And now that I have that placement, I can go ahead and stamp it and then just erase those light pencil lines that were my guide for this sentiment in the first place. Now I can start using foam dots to attach all of these dogs. And this is a really clean and simple card, but a cool way to show off all of the stamps in this set and really have fun decorating all of these cute dogs. I just love being able to create a card that doesn't have a scene in it with this set and then also create the scene cards too. So I love that there's so much that you can do with this set and I know that you guys are going to come up with the coolest stuff. So make sure to share them with us and thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!